it's me, Ebony, and I'm here to give you my four-week update on my Wink by Vivica Fox hair. This is protein blend hair, and if you didn't see the original video, um, I will be sure to link you somewhere within the actual video or down in the description box at the very least so you can see what it looked like when I first had it installed. Those of you who have been here for the last month, you know that I had this installed in a 14 inch. So obviously I did some style changing a little bit and I had, I went ahead and cut it myself into a bob. Originally I was going to have like the stylist do it, but I didn't even feel like paying any money for it. So I just did it myself and uh, the tutorial that I used to follow was by Thomas Adriana. I'm sure that many of you are either subscribed to her or at the very least familiar with her channel, but I will either put this video as a response to hers or at the very least I will link you to the video that I saw from her where she cut her U-part wig into a bob. I basically followed that exact tutorial pulling my hair into a low ponytail in the back. And you know, if you pull your hair into a ponytail in the back, the sides are longer than the pieces in the back. I cut it straight across and that's how I got this uh, style with like you know it being sort of angled. Now I will say my right side ended up being slightly longer than my left side and that is fine with me. It wasn't intentional but it, it's fine. I love the way it looks even like the little bit of asymmetry here. As you can see this side is a little longer than this side. How that happened is <laughs> this hair was so freaking full. I don't know if you guys noticed but like one of the things about the protein blend hair which is not uh, real human hair. Um, it doesn't have the natural taper that human hair does. So the bottom of my hair was abnormally thick. If I don't know if you guys noticed that in the original videos or any of the videos where you've been watching, but yeah, that's, that's one of the issues that I had with the hair as far as it not looking quite as natural as, you know, 100% uh, human hair, which is fine. Um, but when I was cutting, I felt like I was cutting for days. When I say for days, like, I mean, I my little hair scissors, like it was almost like they were saying, you want me to cut all of this? This is ridiculous. They, like hair was getting caught up in it to where I couldn't close them. I mean, it was ridiculous. So basically I wasn't able to get a clean straight across cut uh, with it. So yeah, that's why I went ahead and had to uh, kind of readjust and that's how the right side ended up being longer than the left side. Like I said, it's not an issue for me. Now, uh, Adriana's video was really, really good and I did the same thing and then basically when I got done, to be honest with you, this shape was pretty much there uh, as I sort of bumped it a little bit. I had a couple pieces that were outliers that were a little longer that I had to cut with uh, my razor comb, but that was pretty much it. It was very, very easy to do, seriously. Anybody can do it. Um, so I love the cut. Like when I tell you I love it, this is why I never get bored with my hair. How some people are on their hair journey, they grow their hair to certain lengths and then they're like, oh my gosh, I'm so bored, I'm so tired, I need to change, I need to change, I need to change and they color their hair or they cut it or something like that. This is why I never get that feeling because wigs and weaves are here for all of us to enjoy. God made them for you and for me and like why not take advantage of it? I love right now the fact that I'm wearing a bob haircut with some feathers on the side and a little bit of asymmetry. Like it's just such a fly, fresh, modern cut. I love it. And uh, then when I take it out, I still have my hair, my length. So yeah, I love it. As for the update on the actual hair, okay. Whew, my friends know they've been listening to me complain about this uh, wink protein blend hair. And let me explain. It's not so, I like the hair is awesome for what it's for. It retails for $20. It curls like human hair. Um, surprisingly, it does not shed an abnormally high amount. Like I've had Milky Way hair uh, by uh, like human hair and it has shed like nobody's business. This hair doesn't shed all that much to be honest with you. The problem with it is that when you go to sleep, especially in the longer lengths, and I've said this before that I think it's probably best suited for shorter lengths. In the longer lengths when I had it at 14 inches and I didn't re-roll it on rollers at night or pin curl it or anything, I would just like, you know, put it in a bun and up under my bonnet and go to sleep. Then the next morning it would feel the way if you slept in a synthetic wig that's how it would feel. It would feel like, okay, um, I've got to brush the tangles out, a little bit of matting, that kind of thing. And that for me was really challenging only because when you're used to wearing extensions that are 100% human, that are a little bit higher end, um, for me, wearing a weave is low maintenance. And so I like to be able to just put it in one big braid or a bun 
and take that down, run my fingers through and go. This hair, after about a week, you're not gonna be able to do that. Um, which is to be expected, like I said, it's $20 pack, but like I said in the initial video, I do think that it's really, really good. For those of you who maybe are new to wearing a weave, like, you know, you don't wanna spend a lot of money on your hair and then turn around and you just can't stand it. You hate not being able to get to your scalp or something like that. Or if you, let's say you're going on vacation and you're only, you know, going on a weekend, a cruise or something like that. Who wants to spend a lot of money just for that one weekend to have a hairstyle that's quick and easy? This hair is perfect for those purposes, but I've been wearing it like a traditional sew-in the way that I would any other hair, so it's just been a bit more of a challenge for me. Um, but now that I've cut it, like I said, this is good for that. If you want to wear hair and then eventually you want to cut it up, this is perfect for that. Because when you spend a couple hundred bucks or 300 bucks or more on hair extensions, I don't know about you, but I'm not cutting half my money away. Okay, like if I buy in 16 inches, I am going to wear it to 16 inches until I no longer wear that hair anymore. Because I don't want to, like if you cut the bob, you know, you literally are like throwing away half your money. So... Yeah, this is really, really good for this. I had no issues, of course, cutting the hair. And and, and I think that it gives it a nice, fresh look. Um, and yeah, now I'm excited to be wearing it again. So I'm going to try my best to keep it in for at least two more weeks. I'll make it a total of six weeks, which I only thought that I was only going to wear it a month. But now that I've cut it into the bob, I feel like I'm breathing new life into the style. And I want to enjoy rocking it like this. Um... You may have seen my unboxing video for the 10 minute Hollywood sew-in, so that's what I'm gonna be wearing next. Protecting my hair, just enjoying changing it up and having um, some different styling options that I can wear that I don't have to really take care and, and style my hair every day. Um, so yeah, this is, is what it looks like in the bob. I hope that I answered all your questions. Um, if I do make it another week or two, of course, I'll come back and do a final update or at least take some pictures so that you can see kind of how it wore as I wore the bob. Uh, I love this style. The hair holds the curl extremely well, so I doubt that I'll have to recurl this. Maybe I'll just have to like pin curl a little bang area where it's like feathered a little bit to the side. But other than that, I don't expect it to give me any trouble. So if you guys have any questions at all, Feel free to leave them down in the comment section down below and I will be happy to answer you. Other than that, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll check you out on longingforlength.com. Take care and stay blessed. Bye.